I'll just tell you who we are first. And I'm David Ernest, E-R-N-E-S-T. I'm the Boone County Sheriff. I'm Dan Wiesman, W-O-E-S-T-M-A-N. I'm the superintendent for the school district. At approximately 8.30 this morning, our 911 center uh, received some information pertaining to a, po a possible safety concern at Belvedere North High School. Uh, officers responded, uh, notified school personnel. Uh, a lockdown, a hard lockdown uh, was done at both Belvedere North, uh, the middle school and the grade school, all in that vicinity. At this time, uh, the school is secure. Uh, we're doing precautionary searches uh, right now, uh, but we really want that information out there for parents. Uh, you know, obviously, it's a big concern uh, with today's world, uh, but we're doing everything we can to make sure that the students are safe, the faculty is safe. Uh, and we're just going through the procedures that, that we follow whenever we have an incident like this. I don't really have a, anything I would say he already said. Is there, I mean, that's, that's. All information. Is it one, one person, is it a student? Uh, we don't know at this time. It was information that was, you know, provided to us per a 911 call. Uh, we don't know right now if anything was even legitimate with that call, but we still have to, every call we get, uh, we take it very seriously. Uh, therefore, it takes time. Uh, we're very efficient. Uh, we partner up with the school administration, uh, the teachers, uh, everything worked like it was supposed to. Unfortunately, these things take time. Uh, we understand parents, you know, we become less patient when these things occur. Totally understandable. But we have to do what we have to do to make sure that all the students are safe. Is there a timeline to know when this lockdown might be over, when we can get more information? Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, right now, we're going to make sure that uh, uh, every procedure is followed uh, to the book. Uh, again, we can never be too cautious with calls like this. Right now, we have not uh, found anything uh, that would um, concern us. Um, based on the call that we received, uh, right now, we haven't discovered anything uh, that the caller had, had reported on the 911 call. Uh, but still, we still are going to go uh, and be efficient and make sure that uh, the entire place is, is safe for the children. Are classes still continuing or can parents come pick their kids up? Uh, no, we're asking parents right now to meet at Shopco, uh, which is uh, really a staging area uh, for the parents. Uh, right now, you can't, we can't have parents come to the school. They won't be allowed to come in. Uh, right now we have a, a perimeter where it's really just secured until we can go through the procedures that we have to. And that's specific to North, Central, and Seth Whitman. So the high school, the middle school, and the elementary school that are on that campus. Other schools um, aren't, aren't affected if they aren't in the vicinity. Are classes still continuing? Or are you guys just missing? At the other schools? At, at Belvedere. Right now, it's a complete lockdown okay. until we're until we're completed with making sure that it's safe for students to move around. Um, nobody will go anywhere at this point. Okay. Okay. Else? Obviously, we'll we'll get back with you. We would like to at least keep you updated every hour. Uh, that's what we're going to try to do. Hopefully, it doesn't take you know a long time, but to be efficient, it takes longer than than obviously we would like. So please, we ask parents to be patient. We're doing everything we can. We can tell you that the building is secure. All students are safe at this time, uh, but we still have to go through the procedures to make sure that they're, they're safe when they leave. Superintendent, if I could ask you a question. This one of the first weeks, first days of school, something like this happening, how do you, how do you address the students going forward the rest of school year? You know, so this is unfortunately part of our culture here in the United States. This is something we've seen a lot over the past couple of years. Uh, it's happening not only in schools, but over the summer we also saw these types of uh, concerns carried out, uh, not only in Dayton, but in Texas. And so I think the conversation really has to be around how do we make sure that our schools are a safe environment for students to come to, that they feel safe, that they have a trusted environment and a trusted community that they can uh, talk with and if they have concerns they can bring those concerns up with uh, trusted adults. We'll continue that message uh, and also um, we always encourage parents to have conversations with their students about um, 
uh, pranks. Uh, because unfortunately, part of the concern that we've had over the last couple of years is, as the conversation has increased is that uh, students make prank calls, uh, adults make prank calls, some of our parents make prank calls. That's unfortunate, and so we try to reiterate the message that um, these, this isn't a jokey matter. As you can see, it's taking a lot of resources from the school district and surrounding um, uh, support agencies, including the Sheriff's Department, which has been extremely responsive and, and very quickly responsive to us. Um, and so we try to convey the message that these aren't funny jokes to be played, and uh, more often than not, they're, they are, uh, the threats are made by individuals who are trying to um, prank us as a school district. Uh, but like uh, the Sheriff's uh, Department said, we take all of them seriously. We treat each of them as if they were real, and that takes time. And so right now we're kind of in the middle of that time. Thank you.